Movies have the power to deeply touch us, making us rethink things like life or love. I remember one film that really moved me. It was set in Japan after World War II and told a story about love and prejudice. The characters went through a lot, keeping me hooked till the end. Some moments were surprising, some heartwarming, and some heartbreaking. Have you ever been really touched by a movie? Maybe it changed how you see things. But share your story below. And which character from this film left the biggest impression on you? We'd love to hear your memories and thoughts. Keep watching for more interesting facts about this movie. During the late 1950s, a captivating film captured the hearts of many with its poignant portrayal of love transcending cultural barriers. Starring Marlon Brando and directed by Joshua Logan, the movie delved into the complexities of interracial romance, touching upon themes of love and prejudice. The movie struck a chord with audiences, sparking discussions about acceptance and tolerance. It shed light on the challenges faced by its characters, leaving a lasting impression on viewers. Following its success, the film inspired various adaptations, including a stage version and a novelization. Merchandise like posters and soundtracks also emerged, solidifying its place in popular culture. Throughout the years, the movie's influence persisted, shaping subsequent films and media. Its themes of love and acceptance remain relevant, resonating with audiences even today. In 1957, a film emerged that brought together a cast featuring Marlon Brando, whose acting prowess had previously contributed to seven Oscar-winning performances. Notable among them were collaborations with Vivian Lee, Kim Hunter, and Carl Malden for A Streetcar Named Desire, Anthony Quinn for Viva Zapata, and Eva Marie Saint for On the Waterfront. The film that marked Brando's partnership with Red Buttons and Miyako Taka was a unique piece in the cinematic landscape. Miyako Taka made her debut in this film, playing a pivotal role that introduced Sayonara to audiences. Described as an exquisite new Japanese star in James a Michener's story of defiant desire, Taka's presence was showcased on the movie poster, signaling a shift in the portrayal of diversity in films. The movie, rare for its time, directly addressed racism and prejudice, breaking ground by featuring what many consider the first on-screen kiss on the mouth between a leading white star and an Asian. With Brando Taka and the rest of the ensemble, Sayonara marked a significant chapter in cinematic history by confronting societal norms of its era, providing a nuanced exploration of relationships amid cultural tensions. In the film, the stage shows known as the Matsubayashi Girls Review were performed by the Shachiku Keichikiden Girls Review. At the beginning of the story, Major Gruber arrives, landing in a North American F-86G Sabre. This aircraft was later transferred to the South Korean Air Force. He parks next to a Douglas RB-26C invader from the 67th Tactical Reconnaissance Wing. Additionally, he is depicted flying to Japan on a Douglas SC-47 Skytrain, also from the 67th TRW. Interestingly, Marlon Brando wasn't the initial choice for the lead role. It was first offered to Rock Hudson, who opted to star in A Farewell to Arms instead. In the year of its release, Sayonara stood out as the sole Best Picture Oscar nominee also recognized for its exceptional art direction. The film's attention to detail extended beyond its storyline to the portrayal of scenes, notably in the meticulous selection of the General's car in 1952 Cadillac Fleetwood 75, which Major Groover encounters upon his arrival at the Japanese airbase. Prior to its cinematic debut, James Michener's novel, The Foundation of the Film's Narrative, captivated readers through serialization in McCall's magazine, spanning from October to December 1953. Set in post-World War II Japan, this movie faced challenges with its portrayal. Italian censorship granted approval for its screening in February 1958. Marlon Brando's insistence on using a southern accent for his character, Ace Groover, stirred debate. Despite objections from the director and producers, Brando stuck to his decision, adding a unique dimension to the film. Interestingly, William Holden was initially chosen for the role, but withdrew to work on another project. These alterations highlight the dynamic nature of the film industry, where choices can shape narratives significantly. In the film, two actors made their debut, Miyako Taka and Miyoshi Yumiki. Yumiki's performance earned her an Academy Award for Best Supporting Actress, making her one of the few to win for a debut role. Red Buttons also secured a win for Best Supporting Actor, marking the film as one of only three to claim both supporting acting Oscars. Martha Scott appeared in several Oscar Best Picture nominees, including Sayonara, though Ben-Hur was the sole winner among them. In casting choices for the movie, Audrey Hepburn declined the role of a Japanese bride alongside Marlon Brando. Her reason was clear, she felt incapable of convincingly portraying an oriental character. 
Despite acknowledging the script's appeal, Hepburn was firm in her self-awareness, stating that attempting the role would result in a regrettable performance. Meanwhile, behind the scenes Lloyd, one of the characters in the film, was portrayed by an actor who smoked Chesterfield cigarettes, a brand steeped in history since 1896. Chesterfield was a prominent choice in America during the film's production. Notably, it had sponsored radio programs in the 30s and 40s, TV shows in the 50s, and held the distinction of being James Bond's preferred smoke in the novels. Furthermore, the film found recognition on the American Film Institute's 25 list of 250 movies nominated for F.I.'s 100 Years of Film Scores, underscoring its musical significance in cinematic history. In summary, as the movie unfolded on screen, decisions around casting, and even the choice of cigarettes behind the scenes added layers to the overall narrative, contributing to the film's enduring legacy. On the stone steps leading to the meeting with Hana Ogi, the Major encountered a momentary obstacle when his ankle twisted on the third step. A subtle incident during the production of the film added a layer of complexity to Marlon Brando's experience. Truman Capote's interview with Brando delved into the actor's private life, unveiling childhood memories and hidden pains. However, the fallout from Capote's subsequent disclosure to the media ignited Brando's wrath leading him to express a desire for Capote's demise, branding it as a betrayal. At the Academy Awards, Red Buttons clinched the Best Supporting Actor Oscar over Seshu Hayakawa. Interestingly, this was the sole category lost by the Best Picture Oscar winner, The Bridge on the River Kwai, in its eight nominations. This outcome added a distinctive note to the accolades and recognition garnered by the acclaimed war film. Earning a perfect score on Rotten Tomatoes from a dozen discerning critics, the movie marked James Stacy's impressive debut. Miyako Taka, known for her role as an elegant Japanese dancer alongside Marlon Brando, graced the screen with other talented actors like Miyoshi Yumeki, celebrated in both film and TV, and James Garner, recognized for his charismatic presence. Bob Hope, the legendary entertainer, added his humor, while Cary Grant brought his signature charm. Toshiro Mifune, the respected Japanese actor, added depth and intensity to the screen. This star-studded cast ensured the film would become a classic. Indeed, its significance echoes through cinematic history, showcasing the enduring power of storytelling on the silver screen. Following its release, the movie showcased breakthrough performances from its cast. Miyuko Taka's role earned her a contract with Warner Brothers due to her standout performance. Additionally, the film marked the only Oscar-nominated performances for Miyoshi Yumiki and Red Buttons, both of whom secured wins in their respective categories. Notably, Dennis Hopper provided voice dubbing for several minor characters within the film. Such contributions added depth to the cinematic experience, ensuring lasting recognition for the cast talents, 